Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, the number one place for people who love design, art and all things creative. I'm Jacqueline and I'm an interior architect and designer here at DNB. In today's video, I thought that I'd share with you how to decorate in the cottagecore style. This video is for anyone who wants to decorate their cottage or maybe you're living in a really busy city and you just want to try and give your home those cottagecore vibes. Over the past week, I've kind of been down the cottagecore rabbit hole and it's a style that I really like. So I just thought I'd share with you how I would decorate in that style. Also, I live in England and I'm used to seeing traditional cottages and I guess what you would call cottage core interiors. So hopefully I can give you some extra tips that maybe you haven't heard before. So if you're interested, let's jump in. So I think before we dive into the home decor and furniture part of the video, I should probably start off by explaining what cottage core actually is. Essentially, it's a term that originated from the website Tumblr that refers to having an aesthetic where people dress and live as if they have a rural life. The way I would describe it is basically a form of a subculture, just like the hippie movement, punks and hipsters. You get the idea. It's almost the exact opposite of what we know as hustle culture, where we're working in fast-paced environments for really long hours and working towards some type of goal in a restless way. So that being said, you can understand how the idea of dumping your city life, buying a cottage and living a rural life has gained a lot of popularity in the last couple of years. So the main cottage core features are your fashion, your hobbies, and of course your home and the interior. And also having hobbies that don't rely on anything digital or the internet, like foraging, baking, pottery, painting, making your own jam, embroidery, you get the idea. It's all about embracing a simpler, sustainable life that is more harmonious with the nature that surrounds us. And I feel like the main things that are usually spoken about are the fashion and hobbies, hence I wanted to do this video for cottage core interior inspiration. So obviously the first step is to have a cottage. No, I'm just kidding. Great if you do though. If I were to describe cottage core as a style, I would say that it's all about having a countryside, traditional and nostalgic look with a cozy cottage feel. And it's kind of like Huga, but I would say that Huga is more of a lifestyle, whereas Cottagecore definitely has a specific look to it, whereas anything can really be Huga. I have a whole video on how to make your home more Huga, so I'll link that at the end of this video for you guys. Now, moving on to Cottagecore furniture for your home. Because we're going for a traditional feel within the home, of course, using things like reclaimed wood and secondhand furniture will be the best way to instantly create a nostalgic look. And because we're going for that vintage feel, most pieces are going to be made from wood anyway. Also, definitely something you're going to want to stay away from are pieces of furniture made from plastic and glass, especially if they have sharp lines and look very minimal. So look for furniture that has curves and more fluidity to its shape. Some examples of types of wooden furniture to look for are spice racks, coffee tables, old fashioned plate racks, merchant chest of drawers, floor to ceiling bookcases and bureau style desks. I think it's safe to say that you're not exactly going to find this type of furniture at your local IKEA. So look at places like Etsy, second-hand shops and eBay. A lot of people get rid of things that they don't want anymore and you can actually find some real gem pieces if you just bother to spend the time browsing these shops. Now another piece that I think gives a cottage feel is a sofa with a slip cover. This is a very cute sofa that you would find in a lot of British cottages, usually accompanied with a patterned ottoman that acts as a coffee table. Because cottages usually have low energy ratings and are bloody cold most of the time, fabric furniture is a must, otherwise you'll freeze if you have a leather sofa. And because of that, wrapping up warm and having blankets nearby is a necessity. The prettiest way to store them in your living room could be by using one of these baskets. Personally, I like seagrass the best, but there are so many alternatives to choose from. Whilst talking about materiality, think about what other fabrics are going to be in your space. For example, to cover windows, always go for thick curtains and never blinds. Thick curtains are usually used in cottages so that the heat can be retained in the house. And think about what kinds of patterns you want on the drapes. 
maybe a very strong floral pattern or just a plain color to tie into the rest of the room. Or maybe retaining heat isn't an issue for you, or maybe you just don't like dark colours, in which case you could go for sheer curtains with maybe some embroidery work, whatever your preference is really. I think that when choosing a colour scheme you can really pick anything you want and then work around that. I'm not going to tell you, you know, pick blues or pick pink hues because honestly I think anything would work. And to be honest with you, if I had a cottage, I would go for a much darker, witchier look. Kind of like Hagrid's hot vibes. <laughs> there are some fantastic country wallpapers out there if you really like patterns. There's something to instantly create a cottage feel. Or maybe if you're not crazy on patterns, stick to smaller pieces of decor like cushion covers and bedding. Another beautiful cottagecore home decor item are dried flowers. If you can get your own flowers and dry them, then that's even better, but I think placed in a jug will instantly give a cottage feel to your home. Something else to think about is of course lighting, and there are two specific lights I want to talk about. The first are Tiffany lamps, which are very classic and also give some colour to your interior. What I like about them is that they are really whimsical and most of them have a nature themed design, which ties into the countryside scheme really well. And the second lights are antique metal candle holders. What better way to create a cosy atmosphere using candles, right? Antique style candle holders will give a nostalgic feel to your interior, but also, usually here in England anyway, you can find these in secondhand stores for a really cheap price. When it comes to lighting, you want to go for more old-timey bespoke pieces rather than the more common modern fixtures. Now, part of the house we haven't really spoken about is the kitchen, which is one of the most important parts of my home because I love to cook. And there are a couple of cottagecore pieces that I think would instantly give you that cottagecore aesthetic, such as blue china plates, which are so popular here in the UK that you can actually buy these for really good prices. And they don't have to be real china, but definitely have to have these classic blue patterns to have the cottage look. Also think about what pots and pans you're going to use. How about copper pots to use for cooking? Both practical and gives a classic countryside look. And think about storing them in a way that's on display too, like hanging them for example. Copper pots are really pretty, vintage looking, so definitely put them on display. A quick kitchen hack from me is to place your spices and herbs into apothecary jars to keep the kitchen looking very old timey and enhance the foraging aspect of cottage core. These can be found online and they usually come in sets, making it easy for you to store lots of different food condiments. Now, to bring your interior together, you should of course have some artwork on display. Some of my favourites in the cottagecore interior design style are botanical and herbalism prints. These give you a very organic and antique feel to your space. Or if you're going for a more romantic look, then I would say I really like oil paintings, particularly ones that reflect the natural elements of the countryside. Either way, I think a good rule of thumb is to stick to artwork that showcases nature and rural land. And unlike other styles, you can go pretty crazy with the placement of the artwork and hang things in a very clustered and eclectic way. I think that works really well. My biggest tip for artwork is of course pick art that you love, but also to use different frames and border styles. This will really give your interior a cottagecore feel. Now, if you want even more inspiration, I thought that I'd share with you some cottagecore Instagram accounts that I love, so I've left them down in the description for you guys. Because although Pinterest is a really good source of inspiration, I find that there's a stronger cottagecore community on Instagram, just like here on YouTube. I also have a whole playlist of interior design and home decor tips, so I've linked that in the description too. If you're new to our channel, then I just want to say welcome. On this channel, we talk about interior design, home decor, and so much more cool creative stuff. So if any of that interests you, make sure to subscribe to see videos just like this one. Leave me a flower emoji down below to let me know that you guys enjoyed this video or learned something new. And if you liked it, then please give it a big thumbs up because by doing that, you actually really help our channel to reach even more people. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.